Hi, I'm George from Greenfeathers, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to set up our HD IP wired bird box camera. First thing, as with all of our cameras, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, start with the instructions. Have a little look inside, have a read through. It's got loads of great hints and tips about how to get the best out of your bird box and how to get it set up. One of the key things that we want to do when setting up a bird box camera is we want to get it working inside the house before we take it down the garden. So when we're setting this up, we're gonna do this inside our sitting room or our kitchen, wherever. The start point for this one today is we're gonna start with the power injector. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the clover leaf and on the back side of it, we're going to insert it. It'll only fit one way because of the sizing, but just insert it into the back there. And then we're gonna take the three pin plug and plug it into the mains. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to connect the power injector to the router. We're going to take the short patch cable that's provided in the kit and plug it into the LAN side of the power injector labeled as such LAN. The other end of that cable, we're then gonna to take to our router and plug it into one of the ports on the back. Now we take our long cable that'll be running out to the garden and we're going to plug that into the PoE port on the injector. Now that we've done the router side of the cable, we now need to do the camera side. We need to waterproof this so we can hang it outside the box and it won't get damaged. To do that, we've got a little kit. So the first thing you do, you take the threaded lock ring and we slide it over the top of the cable and pass it down. Then you take the black gasket and you put that onto the cable. It splits in two for easy installation. Next, we then take the long thin tube with the gripper ends and we slide it over the cable. Now what we need to do is we pass the cable grommet inside of the end as so, and we bring up the cable grip, twisting it onto the threads to make the waterproof connection. You then have a rubber gasket that fits over the end of the camera, and then you can plug in the cable to the camera which then twists on. Like so. You can now do the base thread all the way up to grip the cable. That's your camera all connected up now and we can move on to the app to get our camera onto our smartphone or tablet. Now that we've got everything connected up with our camera, we need to move over to the app. You can use a smartphone or a tablet PC. I today have got an iPad to help me out. You either need to go into the App Store or the Google Play Store and you need to download the iCC Pro app. I've already downloaded the app, so I'm going to open it up and as you can see, you land on the loading page here. We need to tap local login, and then we're going to add a device with the plus button in the top right hand corner. From here, we're gonna tap more again in the top right hand corner, and we're going to use the red icon, add device in the same WLAN. By tapping that, we're gonna have a search on our network, and up comes our camera. Now that that's been added, we can click on it to see the video image. And there it is, we have our HD wired IP bird box camera onto our device. Once you've got the video feed onto your device, you can change a few basic settings. We tap the cog in the right hand corner and it brings up a menu. We go into basic settings and in here, we can rename our device. I'm gonna call ours Green Feathers. To confirm this, we hit the save button in the top right hand corner. Once we've changed the name of the camera, we recommend that you set a password. To do that, you go into password management, and from there, you leave the current password blank 
and you input your new password. We recommend that you write this down as it's needed if you ever need to reset or change any settings within your camera. It also helps for sharing with family, friends and loved ones. Once you've done it, hit save. Now that you've got that set up, you can see here that we've got our Green Feathers camera on our device. If you need any more help on how to set your camera up, please go to green-feathers.co.uk forward slash help. And if you need any more information, just go to the website. Thank you very much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe.